Today, we're going to be talking about ambient pads for worship. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about this guy right here, which is the Atmosphere by Aerospace Audio. Now, just to preface this video real quick, Isaac at Aerospace Audio did send me this pedal for free, and I didn't pay for it. Um, but he's not paying me to say anything about this pedal, and he's not going to see this video before it actually goes live. So all the thoughts and opinions on this pedal are my own, and Aerospace Audio has no influence over the final product of this video. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about this pedal a little bit because you may have seen one of my other videos where I talk about an ambient pad setup that I used at one of our other campuses. And that whole setup included main stage, a MIDI keyboard, and a big old stand and everything like that. It was fine and it worked well for the situation. But when I happened to stumble across uh, this pedal online, um, I was instantly interested and uh, wanted to try this out myself because this actually simplifies that whole ambient pad workflow to just this. Plug this in with an instrument cable into a direct box and plug it into power. And then you have a bunch of great sounding ambient pads really at the tap of a foot. So not only in this video do I want to kind of show you what this does and kind of demo it for you, but then also give you some real life examples where I've actually put this to use in a worship service and then show you how that turned out and how the results are with this pedal in the mix. I need to change the strings on this thing really, but that's for another day. So now just to kind of demo this for you and kind of show you just a little bit of how this thing runs, you can obviously hit the up and down arrows on this side to change the key and then on this side to actually change the patch. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different ambient pad sounds already built into this. So right now I'm just gonna turn on a pad in the key of A and then I'm gonna use this bottom patch, the troposphere patch. Uh, that's actually been my favorite sound so far out of the ones that I've used. Um, I just kind of like the tone of that one. So that gives you just a little idea of what this thing sounds like with an acoustic guitar over top of it and it's just kind of filling the space in the background. I have another example of this coming from a time where I actually led worship by myself and I used this pad to just kind of fill up the space behind me. Here's what that sounds like. And the cool thing about this thing is that when you're done with a song and you're ready to change keys, all you have to do is just toggle down to the next key that you want and it'll actually stay in the previous key until you're ready to change keys. And then all you have to do is hit engage and it'll 
transition between those two keys. And just for something different, let's try out one of these other patches. And then when I'm ready to transition, I just hit engage. But I hit abort. <laughs> let's try that again. All right, I'm back in A, engage. There we go. All right, now let's change our patch and change our key. And now when we're ready to transition, now we hit engage instead of abort. So when it comes down to just me and an acoustic guitar, uh, I really like having this thing with me. Um, it's been very helpful. I love having that extra layer of ambience underneath me and being able to control it with my foot makes things pretty simple. One thing really quick though, as far as changing the presets on this, um, when I'm leading worship, it's definitely more difficult to change the presets versus lead electric guitar. If I had this next to my regular pedal board and everything, it would definitely be easier for me to switch the presets while I'm playing lead electric guitar. I don't know if it's just the mental gymnastics that I have to do while I'm leading worship and then hitting buttons with my feet. I had to really concentrate and think about it when I was changing presets uh, when I was leading worship because I had to in between singing is it when I'm playing like through an instrumental you know when am I changing those presets um, doing it and singing is pretty difficult um, but you know playing lead electric guitar and having this next to me there um, it would be super easy to switch between presets and that's one thing that I've thought about when it comes to this pedal I'll definitely keep this with me if I'm leading worship by myself with just an acoustic guitar but I may end up even making space for this on my electric guitar pedal board just that wherever I'm playing electric guitar I could have this with me and run ambient pads if I needed to and kind of speaking of electric guitar I actually did use this when I played electric guitar for a little night of worship that we had at our church and it was a small kind of stripped down night of worship so it was just an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar and then I added this pedal into the mix for those ambient undertones and here's an example of what that sounded like
as you can see it works really well in that situation too you know you could play lightly and let it kind of carry um, some of the moment and you know you don't have to be playing as heavy I don't have to as an electric guitar player I don't have to be swelling constantly um, but then as we get louder and build up you don't have um, it competing for space you know especially if it's mixed well um, then obviously you don't have that you know kind of competition between uh, you know ambient guitar and ambient pads so I think it sat in the mix really well and then it was definitely helpful during some of those lower moments in the set So now to just move on and kind of talk just a little bit about some of the technical aspects of this pedal. First off, these two quarter inch jacks are left and right out, so you can do mono or stereo uh, with this pedal. Um, but it's not like a pedal that you would put on a pedal board where you run in with your guitar and then out uh, to continue down the signal chain. Uh, this is just a standalone unit that you would then run into like a direct box and then run through your sound system. Another thing kind of a note here that I just think is worth mentioning is that these are soft uh, foot switches, so they're not the hard kind of clicking uh, foot switches that you see in most guitar pedals. But honestly, I think the soft works out pretty well because um, if you're tapping through a bunch of presets or a bunch of keys, you don't want to have to click and push very hard in uh, every single time, you know, just to change one step or one half step uh, in a key. And then another cool feature of this pedal that I actually haven't tested out yet is that on the side here, you can actually plug USB into your computer and you can actually add your own custom ambient pads if you have certain audio files that you already like and want to use you can import those into the pedal and then be able to use your own sounds uh, through this pedal which is just really cool um, i haven't tested that out yet i've just used the the stock patches that they've put into this pedal and they've sounded great so far and at this point i probably won't have any reason to switch them out but i think that's a cool feature in case you actually wanted to do that and then of course you know in case i haven't mentioned it yet if you want to stop the pads you just hit abort and it slowly fades out just like that Anyway, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this little pedal. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this thing around and putting it to use wherever I can. And I'm excited to see how this pedal changes and develops as time goes on. As of right now, the only thing that this doesn't have that I would love to be added to it in the future is just the ability to then create presets based on your set list. So if you had you know, this song in this key and you wanted to use a specific patch with it, you could set that up and then have the next song set up after that. So you just have one button to hit and it'll advance you to the 
the next preset. And in talking with Isaac about this pedal, uh, that's actually an idea that's already crossed his mind and I'm sure that's gonna happen at some point. So I'm excited to see uh, when that day comes and then what other things you know might be possible at some point down the road with a pedal like this. The only other thing I can really think of is maybe adding MIDI control to this at some point. That would probably be helpful for a lot of people who use MIDI on a regular basis. But you know, besides that, it's really just a, a great simple pedal, easy to use, easy to operate, and uh, has good sounds attached to it as well. And I'm curious to know what you think uh, after seeing this and hearing this, uh, if you have any thoughts about this pedal or what your ambient pad setup is, uh, leave them down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from each of you and see what you guys are running and see how you guys are navigating ambient pads in your worship sets. Anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit the like button. At this point, there's no reason for you not to, right? Um, subscribe also because I'll be making more videos like this in the coming weeks and months all about uh, teaching church leaders how to be more effective with digital media and sometimes and that includes ambient pads. If you're looking for more in-depth training regarding how to shoot high quality video for your church and getting started quick with ProPresenter 7, the links for those will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, stay. Gosh, <laughs> this didn't work out as well as I imagined it would. <laughs> I gotta go get some tape. All right, nothing a little gaff tape can't fix here. And what we'll do, we'll actually bring this back out. I really need a right angle quarter inch cable and uh, somehow a right angle quarter inch cable did not come to my mind sooner, but uh, you know, better late than never, I guess. Yeah, see that'll work a lot better. There we go. All right, we are in business now. All right, so now comes just a little bit of tape here but you won't know that because you won't be able to see it. Right there, perfect. <laughs>